Hey guys, for sure in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to fix your iPhone Discord app not working or loading on your iPhone. You might have noticed that if you try to open up, it keeps on connecting or doesn't load up or it doesn't work anymore. You want to follow these steps. First thing is if you have it open or it's trying to load, slide up and close out the app completely and all apps that you have opened as well. If you're gonna close them out, and then put your phone on airplane mode briefly, just like that and then turn off airplane mode that is a quick network refresh so that if you're having network connectivity issue you're going to go ahead and open it up and hopefully it connects for you now if it's still not working the next thing you want to do is give your phone a, f a forced restart first thing is close out the app again one more time and this time we're going to do a forced restart so in order to do a forced restart you're going to press and release the volume up press and release the volume down so volume up volume down one after another Finally, hold the side button until the screen goes completely black and you see the Apple logo reappear. So I'll do volume up, volume down. Finally, I hold the side button and this is going to turn off the phone completely and then turn it back on. So you'll want to keep on holding the side button just like that. And finally, you see the Apple logo, you let go of that button and that's going to reload the software of the phone so if it's a software related glitch impacting your iphone discord app not working it will fix it for you and any software related issue that you have this is one of the go-to method to restart your phone and after you do that you're going to be back on your phone now this method will not delete any of your personal data so all of your photos videos apps will be safe and hopefully discord is working for you now if it's still not working the next thing you want to do in terms of troubleshooting your discord is simply go into setting of your iphone right and uh, this time you want to go into your general and then iphone storage and you want to ensure that you have enough storage on your phone so what happens is if you don't have enough storage or your storage maxed out like i have 128 gig if i'm using up 128 gig you're going to have issues with Discord because it requires some free available storage. So make sure you have that. If you need to delete some photos, larger videos, they usually take up a lot of space. Delete those. Any apps that you can delete. And then also go ahead and check that list out and I'll show you that uh, thing to clean up. Now, if you did that and it's still not working, it's time to go ahead and delete Discord and then reinstall it again. And to do that, you're going to press and hold remove app and then click on delete click on delete and it'll delete the app and don't worry you can simply go back to the app store search for discord and then we're going to search it up click on that cloud icon and reinstall it now you're just deleting the app of course your account will still be safe it's not deleting your account just deleting the app and reinstalling it so if there's a new version of the app out that has the fix for it it will show up for us so you can see it opened up again and then you might have to go to the very last page to see on the recently added discord was added so we'll click on and add it to our home screen and this time hopefully it loads up once you open it up as you can see it's spinning because it's opening up for the very first time and should be good to go for you now if you're still having issues and it's still not working for you the next thing you want to troubleshoot is that with a phone so let me show you on this other device that i have here that has cellular if you're using cellular you're going to go ahead and go into your cellular of your iphone so you go into your cellular setting right setting cellular and go all the way down here under wi-fi assist option you're going to turn wi-fi assist off basically when you have this setting on it automatically uses cellular data when wi-fi connectivity is poor but that also sometimes interferes with the connectivity you're going to turn that off and then on your phone right you can also turn off Wi-Fi for a moment and then close out the discord app and then go back to your setting turn on Wi-Fi again make sure your Wi-Fi is connected and then go ahead and reopen it and that should hopefully fix it for you if you're having issues connecting now if you're still having issues uh, connecting or it's still not working the next thing you want to do is go into setting of your iPhone, go to general, go all the way down where it says transfer reset iPhone, and then click on reset, and you want to do a network reset. So when you do a network reset, basically it deletes network settings, 
and sets them back to factory setting. It doesn't delete any of your personal data, but it is something you need to do in order to resolve this issue. This should take about a minute or two to do. After you do that, you should be able to go ahead and, and open up the app and it should work for you. Now, if it's still not working, the very last thing you can do is updating your phone to the latest version by going to your setting of your iPhone, general, software update, and if there is an update available, it'll show up here. You'll click on update now and update your phone to the latest version of iOS because sometimes older version are not compatible with the new version of Discord app. So when you do update your phone, give yourself about half an hour to 45 minutes to completely and successfully install the update and make sure your phone is at least 50% or more charged or connected to a charger during this update and has a good strong Wi-Fi or cellular data. And after you update it, go ahead and try to open up Discord and hopefully it works for you. And I hope this video is helpful in troubleshooting and resolving Discord not working or loading for you. If so please make the like and subscribe button. Also, if you found a better solution, leave it in the comment section as well. Thanks for watching, guys. See you guys next time.